everyone, welcome back. And today on my channel, I am making a Charmander uh, koozie. If you guys don't know what a koozie are, it's just a thing that goes around a, a drink. So I'm going to need a picture of his face, some orange, black, white, and blue felt, as well as some white and black string, some pins, needles, and scissors. First thing's pretty simple, you're just going to cut all the pieces out. So I do the black first, and I'm going to cut the whole eye out of the black fabric. And once I have both of those eyes cut out of there, I'm going to go to the white. And I'm just going to cut the whole bottom part, um, including that greenish color there. And that's, I'm going to cut that all out for the white part because it's easier to have a bigger piece than sew on like little tiny pieces. And don't forget to cut out the little eye circle in the middle. And then once that's finished, I'm going to move that green piece over, or green or blue piece over, and I'm going to cut out some of the blue felt. It's better to have some smaller scissors. My big scissors didn't work very well, but uh, here are all the pieces. And then I'm just going to begin sewing them together. First, I start with putting the bigger white piece onto the black piece of the eye. And I'm going to use my white string. And then I'm going to sew on the blue. And you might find it easier to uh, to pin it down with one of your straight pins, but I I find the straight pins to kind of get in the way when I'm sewing little tiny pieces together so I just kind of hold everything there and then once you have the blue piece sewed on you're gonna sew the little eye circle thing I guess it's a pupil I don't know once both of your eyes are done what I do is I just take my orange piece of felt and I put the Charmander face and lined it up and pin it in the center part of the one of the corners on the orange sheet of felt and then I go ahead and sew that on with some black thread it takes a lot of maneuvering to get around and not jab yourself with the pin but You'll get better at it as you practice sewing. Once that's finished, I'm going to go ahead and cut that out just in a straight line because I, now I know how long I need it to be. And I'm going to pin my Charmander pattern back on to this fabric because I'm going to sew his uh, eyebrows, I guess that, that's what they are, um, his nose and his mouth and teeth in. And um, I guess you could say this is like embroidering, but you just go through the paper on the lines and then it should replicate onto the felt. It takes a long time, but just be patient and it'll get done. And then you're going to take the paper off really slowly. Uh, you want to rip at least on the one side where it's sewed and on the other side so that you can just kind of separate the paper so that you're not pulling upward. Then I'm going to measure around my can and cut and then sew the ends once that's finished. And when I'm done sewing, I will have a cute little Charmander can holder koozie thing. It fits right over the can and it's really nice because the can is really cold first world problems but it still looks really cute and guys I hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you want to see any more videos by me go ahead and click the link right there on the wallet and it'll take you to my last video and uh, check out my Facebook Instagram and Twitter which I try to post on daily so see you soon